Like them and everybody else, them just need to be a, a, a part of my argument for right now, for whatever reason. So, this is the academic that I get. That was yesterday. And the reason why now I am cleaning them a day after, not only is that the way I do my thing, but that also makes sense because I can come with these things right here. You see him? This little one right here. Yeah, that one right there. I call him hockey fly. Not a fly. It's like a little beetle. And if you let your hockey sit too long, you are gonna come back and find all different type of bite holes in it. Because again, they like it. It's 100% natural. They love it. They can go there and eat and all day long. No problem to them. They got to have it. So, knowing that, I use the bag. Well, on knife. I know your turn yet, man. Just well on them. I use the bag to cover it up. To partially cover it up so I can still do what I'm doing and they don't get in there. Them or the flies is not able to get in there. That's the reason why I use these bags. This one and this one. So I take it out of this bag, put it right there. Do my best to make sure they don't get it because I'm cleaning. I don't need to do double work. I just need to do the work that I'm supposed to do. So again, Aki is the subject for today. And most people is not aware that Aki actually have health benefits, like real good health benefits. Most people is not aware that Aki is something that is very, very beneficial for your health. So I don't know if you can see how I'm cleaning this, but this is a self-cleaning Aki. What does he mean? Did he sell self-cleaning? Yes, he did. He probably meant um, self-assisting, assist cleaning Aki. All right, that would make more sense. So what does he mean? He means that the Aki pad is open already. Or when you grab the Aki, you have to pull it back and then pull it up. And as you can see, me, I'm greedy. I'm gonna take this piece off right here. You see that? That's the little bow tie. I call it a bow tie. Bam. Pull the Aki in the front. Now the Aki is 100% clean. You don't have to go in and clean anything. You might have to get to the little side right here. So, but for the most part, it can't wash off. It can't wash off. So for the time being, I'm gonna put this one right here, and I'm gonna put this right here. No. I'm gonna put this right here in the garbage. So again, go back and up. And as you can see, the membrane is still in there. The membrane is still in there. When you pull over this bow tie right here, so can pull over the bow tie, bring him forward, open the Aki up, and you might see a little piece right there that you can grab with your finger. And you're good to go. Got a clean Aki. Bam. So, that means for me, somebody that learned about the Aki, that means all of these dozens, probably 10, nah, probably 10 to 15 dozen, I'm gonna run through these like it's nothing. Why? Because the Aki is self assisting in cleaning itself. Like, bam. You just put your finger in there and it comes out. And the Aki is nice and fresh. Oh, you mean Aki? See there? Nothing inside. And let me just say, I realize this. I always knew that you had different type of Aki. But I didn't realize this was one of those ones that you don't want to necessarily boil. Why? 
Me personally, I like my Aki with firmness. I like my Aki to come out of the pot like this. Whole just like that. Cook up, season up, everything, but like that. And I realize, give me a second, because I did see one. All right. Now we have we have big aki now. When I when, when I feel there with no small small aki, we have, we have big aki. We can just I want aki that. Yeah man, I want aki. This we have big aki. You know, look on look on the aki compared to my finger. We have big aki right here. We now know little teenage aki or little boy aki. So what I realize with aki is when you get it first. If it fit, then the party is open, just like this, if it fit. And you have the Aki in there. And the Aki in there don't necessarily have to be right. It's just fit, where it's ready to get right. Just like a banana is fit and ready to get right. So I realized that with Aki. So if you open the part just right now, with this Aki, it's gonna feel a little tough. And as the deer go along with the heat, then it becomes soft, soft enough to do this. This is the Aki now that you don't boil. When you boil this Aki, most I think I go boil out. It's gonna have the, oil, the good oils on top, floating on top, and the Aki is gonna, you're, you're just gonna get mash up, mash up. So, because I like mine like this, what I do, and yes, I am speaking from experience because this is what I do with this Aki. But the Aki is even more like sensitive. But this is kind of like in between butter and hard. So this to me is soft Aki, not butter Aki. We already know butter is like a different type of softness compared to just soft. So with this Aki, what I do is I go Flush it round in some warm water and let it be the last ingredient I put in. So the other day, I was making some pumpkin aki um, rice. I'm gonna put my seasoning and everything in there. And this was the last ingredient. By the time the rice cooked, this was steamed. Still full. So that means every rice, every spoonful of rice that I grab and put the rice into the plate. The aki was still solid like this. Yes, the oil go into the rice. Yes, all the minerals and different enzymes and stuff will go into the into the food, but that's the whole point. You need that to go in there. You don't need it to be boiled out into the water and then you take the best part and throw it away. Yeah, but what? But it have poisons though. If this had poison the way it is right now, not the way it is when it just got open, or if you force it open, but the way it is right now, would somebody be able to and eat it? No. What you need to do is, this is a tender fruit. By the way, Aki is a fruit. And you take this tender fruit, and it's best to steam it, because you're used to it being starved to the bite. Not that you couldn't eat it like it is right now, you could. But most people is used to it with sawfish or, you know, some other fish, you know. You can cook it with um, fresh fish if you want. Of course, you know, you can put it with rice, ton car meal. Those are Jamaican meals, you know. Aki and sawfish. With, aki without the sawfish, but you eat gong food and you're still good. So, Aki. So this Aki now is that type of Aki where you put it in the pot 15 minutes later on that cooked, steam though, steam style because steaming this, very good and it keeps it just like that. So let's start on Aki now. So Aki is a fruit that is the national fruit of Jamaica and the name of Aki, the scientific um, family that Aki come from. 
is something that they say. Something that's here. That's the name of it. Something that's here. So something that's here roughly translates to soap plant. And lychee is in the Lichi is in the family of the soap plant. So is Aki. So wait a minute. You mean to tell me if if Aki come from the soap plant family, you can make soap with Aki? Yep. Yep. You sure can. They already do it in Africa. And this is not one of those I don't believe you videos. Because this is not I'm trying to convince you video. Again, we're just sharing the information and the experience with our beloved, one of our beloved girl, and her name is Aki. She did not come from Jamaica. She came from Africa. But nevertheless, most people is not even aware the Aki come from Africa. So my question to you Jamaicans or you um, Haitians or whoever you are out there. When you came to America, you didn't take some of your seeds with you? You say, I'm going to plant up over there? Well, according to the Caucasian man, they... Um, they gave it a name based off of a slave um, runner and said that it was something that was brought by him. I kind of beg to differ. It's no coincidence. It just so happened to be our national dish. Because people love Aki so long and so much, they find a way as a damn slave to sneak it in. And say, man, I might be leaving this place, but I'm not leaving this. Mm -mm. How can I leave this? You mean to tell me you're going to capture me? You're going to take me away from my family? You're going to take me away from my life being? And you're trying to take me away from this too? Uh -uh. We got to draw a line. Nope, we have to draw a line. How are you going to take me away from this? This got to be the tree of life, the one of the original tree of life. I mean, look at it. I know I'm not tripping. Look like the heart of an angel, may I tell you? Hey, that's just the way I see it. Again, you go, I go ahead and I get... All right, that's too much right here. Just I'll show this for example. I go get the bow tie and then we take off the head. It's easier to do that way anyways. And when you do that, it's clean already. Problem solved. Pack them. So it's nothing for me to, sometimes I don't have to. I just take off this head, make sure nothing on day night, and I'm good to go. If I want to fast speed it. Which more than likely I do. So just look and you're good to go. When you do it like this now, with this type of Aki, you run through this bad boy like it's nothing. Run through a couple of dozens like it's nothing because it's already clean. It cleans itself, like I said. And, like I said, let me see if I can find a, a one that is fairly, don't want to fear the whooping still or not. They're just big. And that's another thing I like about this Aki. Look how long the Aki is. No. These are three right here that I can say is three long ones, three decent sized ones. These three right here. Most Aki is kind of like this. And you know, we need some pep in the step, man. You need to, you know, go to the next level, find it inside of you to dig deep and grow. You know, maybe you need to exercise or something. But again, on the other hand, 
these are the Aki that I, 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 you know, I don't mind having Aki like this. This size right here, I could, I could work with that. that that's a little something. You know, you get a dozen of this, that might weigh a pound or so. I, I could work with that. I could definitely work with that. Especially when you steam them down, you know, between the Aki and the, 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 the rice, you know, but you still need it for be firm. Yeah, yeah, we, 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 we'll, we'll, we'll favor this. We're not saying we'll turn this down, and we're not trying to be greedy, but we all know that you have Aki like this size and Aki like this size. Okay, so I digress. So, all right, so we start off by saying Aki is good to make soap that can clean your skin and clean your clothes. Okay, so it seems to me like you're going on a default thing right now that is actually going to lead into real effects of Aki by saying one benefit and then see how that benefit can lead to another and how it domino effects, which is everything is true. Prove this for myself and everything. So the next one now is, you say that Aki can make soup, so that means it can go on my skin and bathe me, right? Yeah, man, it's good for that too. So is there any benefits to that? Yep. What are the benefits to that? Well, Aki have the good oils. What are those? Well, you have the steric, you have the palmetic, and you have the oleic. Look up these oils that's in Aki. You know this one that get on your finger? Yeah, see, you see it? That one. Don't worry. I have the paper towel right there on deck because I know, but because this one goes so fast, I might not need it from my experience. Again, everything is from my experience, and that's what I'm talking about. So again, I am saying everything from my experience. So yes, it got the good oil. All right, so that's one thing, right? That's one thing. You mean there's more for the skin? Of course, man, of course. Aki is also antimicrobial. What does that mean? You know those small things that you cannot see without a microscope? Yeah, those things. You know the ones that cause skin problems? Like ringworm, guinea worm, you know, mites, um, eczema, you know, those little problems. Your, your stretch marks, you know, those things. So what you're saying is the oil is good for that also? Yep. So you're making the Aki from different parts of the Aki that have the oil in it, yep. And it's good for not only your skin, but it's good to kind of clear up your skin, that's what you're saying? Uh, it does that also. If you use the real Aki soap, it does that also, yes. So, what you're saying is, if I use Aki soap, it's good for my skin. Yes. And it's good for skin conditions. Try it. Don't try to take the easy way out of this by asking. Use it. You get one type of chance here. And your chance that you have here is behind the wheel of your life. So are you going to go around asking somebody else about their experience or are you going to go ahead and start experiencing your experience? There's only one way that I know you can do that and that's by experiencing it for yourself. So you might have to experience it for yourself. And to me, you're actually being empowered when you're doing that. Because when you do that, now you get a chance to earn that experience. So from that point, what, what people are going to tell you on that topic and that subject is gonna be limited to pretty much your experience 
because everybody's experience is not the same and maybe you won't be so easily fooled next time because you had your experience, you had to go through it. So, okay, how are we gonna domino off of the skin? Well, whenever something absorbs in your skin, because your skin is the biggest organ, it's going to go into your bloodstream. When it goes into your bloodstream, wherever your blood goes, it goes. What does that mean? Well, it's going to have the oils and the constituencies of the Aki inside of it. You see what I'm saying? Here's another one. Here, caught him. Red-handed. Trying to get up in my thing. Caught him red-handed. See? Yep. Those are the ones that I'm racing against. Because if not, we're going to have some holes. And fortunately, no holes. Caught him right in time. I just started taking these out of the pod and putting them in here. So I'm gonna clean these ones first. All right, so back to the topic. And yes, I'm also looking for them when I'm looking inside the Occupod, not just for the, for the membrane, but I'm looking for them also. That's, why, that's one of the reasons why I, I rinse it off or wash it off in warm water. So just in case they're there, you know, just make them come and float on, on top and I don't have to be eating no bugs later on. That's the way I do it, for my own reasons. So, before I steam it, of course. So, what do you mean? So these oils, when they go on your skin, they go inside of your blood, they absorb, and now they do what? They go wherever your blood go. So, if your blood goes to the heart, like oleic oil, all of those oils that I just named, all of those oils are also good for your heart. If, the, if, if those oils in your blood go to your brain, all of those things are good for your brains also. So whatever benefit comes with the brain boosting effect, uh, bringing more oxygen in your brains and bringing more enzymes and more nourishment into your brains, like sulfur. And by the way, sulfur usually have three molecules of oxygen. So when sulfur gets in your system, I mean a natural source of sulfur, like Aki, gets into your system, it's going to bring more oxygen in your system, more oxygen in your system. Now your brain is moving. When your brain is moving, now you can think better, and so on. So, again, the part of the domino effect of Aki. You ever notice whenever you eat Aki? whether it's the Aki rice or the Aki and sawfish or something like that, you ever notice you don't get too much of the itis? You don't really get tired like that. You're more like up and ready, ready to go do something after you finish eating. Say you eat Aki and some ground food, some banana, and some dashi, and some yam, things like that. And you eat the Aki like that. You ever notice, some people don't pay attention, but you ever notice whenever you eat some meat kind of, food, it usually make you feel weighted down and then the itis kick in and you might have to go to sleep. But when you eat Aki, like an Aki Paki, or like Aki on Sawfish, or like Aki on Food, you notice that don't weigh you down, don't make you feel, you know, them type of way like, oh man, I'm tired, Ugh. you notice? There's a reason for that. Because Aki give you energy. I just named one of the way Aki give you energy by giving you the nourishment that actually pull more oxygen into your system and Aki is iron rich and it's potassium rich and it's sodium rich, a natural source. What did that guy just say? What did, what, what did he say? I said, remember that, remember that problem with red blood cells is it's not getting enough natural sources of iron and when you get iron inside of your body everybody know that there's oxygen that comes with that and whenever oxygen comes with that boom boost your energy and now you got some energy well maybe not everybody but some of the people might know 
But yeah, I can give you energy also. That's why if you eat a hockey meal, you're ready to go do something afterwards. Hey, let's go to the park. Let, let's go play some games. It's not that. You might want to be lazy and not do anything else but watch TV. But if you did want to go to the park, you could. Because hockey gives you energy. Um, that's another source of energy from the Aki is the minerals that's in Aki. You know the iron? You know the copper? You know the sulfur? You know the phosphorus? Yeah. You know the zinc? Did you know that Aki was a real good source of natural zinc? Natural zinc. Oh, you didn't know? And they told you it was bad for the prostate when zinc is 